Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and we hope that you have a beautiful Monday from wherever you are watching this video. And I'm hoping that you have a very fruitful week. First, I want to give shout out to Mark Tu and Mkisi Masai. You guys have been amazing. Those are our subscribers of the day. And of course, I will keep on doing the shout out. So thank you very much for the amazing support. Interestingly, the lines have been drawn in the political sphere. 2022 presidential race is now cut out clear. William Ruto have actually signed Musalem Davadi from One Kenya Alliance. What that signifies is now the 2022 race is between Raila and Ruto. So, Atuho says, I think after yesterday's event, Raila Dinga team, Mazimio team, must have made a night call to Kalonzo Musioka to try to convince him to follow Gideon Moy in Azimio because Gideon Moy is heading to Azimio La Umoja. Now, that is how things are now turning out. I wanted us to analyze on a latest narrative by Professor Mutahingoni, a political analyst that is really seasoned in matters of coming up with narratives and shaping opinions. So we are going to look at his tweet and just look at what he's saying on this issue of Musalem Davadi, William Rutomadia. But before that, let me give you some intrigues of yesterday's events. You might be asking, why did Kalonzo Musioka and Gideon Moy walk out of Bomas of Kenya? So according to a report that I've just read in Nation, a newspaper this morning, Kalonzo Musioka, Gideon Moy, Moses Otangula, was supposed to meet at Henningsway Hotel in Karen Ali, so that they drive together in a same convoy to Bomas of Kenya. That was the initial agreement. So that was to show solidarity for their colleague who was also being endorsed to vie for presidential, um, to seek presidency. But it is believed that uh, according to this report, Musalim Davadi called Cyrus Jirongo at around 8.30 in the morning and told him that he's going to accept, he's going to, he's going to receive a special guest at that Bomas of Kenya. And I want to believe that Mudavadi told Jirongo that William Ruto was going to be part of the Bomas of Kenya event. So that is why you did not see Cyrus Jirongo in that meeting. So another thing that is also evident is that Cyrus Jirongo did not tell the other Oka principals because, if, because according to that report, Gideon Moy and Kalonzo Musioka, Musioka were seated at the Henningsway Hotel at around 10. Mudavadi had called Jirongo at 8.30 to tell, him that, to tell him that William Ruto was going to attend. So while they were at Henningsway, this, there were rumors that Uda might attend, but they didn't have clearly any clue that Musalem Davadi was dumping Oka for William Samoy Ruto. So they didn't know. Immediately they walked in the auditorium. And you remember, if you look at a clip here, this clip is showing Musalem Davadi driving his way to Bomas of Kenya alone. So what does that mean? That he did not even check in at the hotel where the, where the other NASA co-principals, well, not NASA, he did not check in at the hotel where the other Oka course principals were waiting for him. So when they went there, that is why they actually uh, realized that, of course, William Ruto was coming. And while they were at the auditorium, there is this photo here where Musalem Davadi was talking to Gideon Moy and, and, uh, and Kalonzo. 
So it is actually said that when they were at the auditorium, Cyrus Jirongo called uh, Gideon Moy and told Gideon Moy that William Ruth was going to be there. So it's at that moment that Gideon Moy now started talking to Mudavadi, asking Mudavadi what was going up. So there was that short conversation between the, the three of them, Gideon Moy, Kalonzo, and, and Mudavadi. After Jirongo called Gideon Moy, telling Gideon Moy, I think Jirongo was watching, then he saw Gideon Moy and other and and uh, and uh, and Kalonzo checking in at Boma South Kenya. So it is that moment, I think Mudavadi was actually telling them, because if you look at that photo, you realize whatever Musalia, not Musalia, well, well, the, the seat that Kalonzo and Gideon Moy was occupying is the seat that now when William Ruto and Otangola came, that is the seat that they occupied. You understand? So that is the seat that William Ruto, Wetangula, and Kabogo occupied. So at some point, there was also rumors that the people who were organizing the stage was telling them to sit back because there were some people who were coming to occupy those front seats. I think that was so disrespectful. But that was just in terms of what happened. Now, before we go to uh, Mutahinguni's tweet, I want you to take a second and listen to this clip. Let me state the obvious. Kenya is broke. To see the Ganyane. Kenya's public debt is galloping towards the nine trillion ceiling against a GDP of Kenya shillings 11 trillion. This means that for every 100 shillings of revenue collected, 70 shillings goes towards paying debt. Yet we are told all the time by faceless people, Yani Team Danganya Kenya. Team Danganya Kenya. Not to speak about these things to Kenyans. While some of the assertions that Musana Budavadi talked about are true, but then the packaging of that information was really, it was packaged in a manner to show the emotional aspect of it, not just the rational call for president to address the public debt, but how it was attached to the emotions. So this is what I'm going to say, two reasons. One, Mudavadi is trying to remember what happened in 2013 when Uhuru Kenyatta shortchanged him last minute because he was supposed to be the presidential candidate, then the Madimoni incident. That is one. So he's also better with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Secondly, um, Mudavadi is very bitter with Kenyatta because after the handshake in 2017, Kalonzo Msioka was given a job in South Sudan. Raul Odinga was given a job as a EU infrastructure uh, envoy. Um, Moses Wetangula was already a senator and also was given the lead of minority in the Senate. Then him and Chama Cha Mashinani, a chairperson, a uh, party leader, Isaac Ruto, they were called to be given plum government jobs, which was, I think, Mondavadi was supposed to head to treasure on some ministry, but he refused. So he actually thinks that in that 2017, he was not given anything. And that is why I believe he's calling Raila a very deceitful leader. Let's hold it there. Directly, let's go to a tweet by Mutahi Nguni. This is what Mutahi Nguni tweeted to just start another narrative. And it was a Twitter poll. He posted and said, Dear Kikuyus, Ruto's running mate is Musalia Mudavadi. End of discussion. Kikuyus to Meza Mate, Mudavadi to Kula Nyama. Is this suicide or cleverness from Ruto? Bomas. Then if you look at the rate, 39% are saying don't care. Kikus will leave Ruto are at 19%. Cleverness but not sure, 20%. Suicide, 19%. So let me tell you, if you look at this, uh, if you look at this Twitter poll, 
Mutahingunyi is simply trying to stir a political narrative. According to him, really the catch between William Ruto and Central Kenya voters, apart from the economic model, the economic model is just a political euphoria to woo the youth, but the jet in the house was the position of running mate. Now, if you look at this Twitter poll, I think there are really three sections that should worry William Samoy Ruto. Because if you look at it, the Twitter poll, the ones who are saying that is a suicide, that is William Ruto Amenyonga, those are 19%. The ones who are saying Kikuyu will leave Ruto are 19.8%. So if you add those two, those are 38 the ones who don't care are 39%. Now, the don't care percent are these people who are undecided. If it was to be put to William Ruto or Raila are undecided, 39%. If you do this calculation, at this 39 plus the other 1919, we are almost at 74. What this narrative is going to say, or what William Ruto or what Mutai Nguyen is trying to say here, is that the percentage that was supporting William Ruto, many of them, 19% of them, are thinking that William Ruto have committed a suicide by taking Musalem Davadi. Another 19.8% are also saying that they will leave Ruto. But then are hoping 39% don't care. Don't care means because of this new development, they are not even sure who they are going to support. So what should William Ruto look here? That what has happened is that now there are many people who are now confused. Because William Ruto might look clever, but they're now confused. Does he want the central Kenya? Is the running mate going to central Kenya? Or is it not? Or it is going to Musalem and Davadi? So what I want to see here is, guys, I am on the lookout for the next opinion poll, maybe in the next one month or in the next three weeks, to look at how the central Kenya block is now reacting to this. But this is the interesting bit. The position of, of the running mate in the uh, ANC UDA alliance is going to be very critical make or break UDA. In straight words, if Musalia, Mudavadi and Ruto takes the two top positions, then the central Kenya vote is going to be, basket is going to leak out. It's going to be porous to Raila Odinga in simple terms. It's going to be porous to Raila Odinga. Because people have said that Musalia Mudavadi, yes, if he's in the top two, he might bring 500,000 to William Ruto. But in Western, but in Central Kenya, William Ruto might lose all of it. A big percentage of it. He might lose 2 million in Central Kenya and Mudavadi brings 500,000. What is the mathematics? But again, if Mudavadi is not the running mate, then the Central, the Western Kenya vote, the, the, the 2.7 million in Western Kenya will run to Raila Odinga. So you see how the issue of the running mate uh, Mutahi Nguni is trying to propagate, is trying to propagate it in a manner, is trying to bring a narrative to bring that, to, to, to insinuate that that is going to be the make or break of William Ruto with the central Kenya. So are you, do you agree with that? Think about it, guys. Do you agree with the issue of the running mate? Whether it's going to be a break or make of Kenya. What Mutahi Nguni is telling central Kenya, the gamer nation, is... The person who is going to produce them, give them the running mate, that is the person whose interest is at hand. That is one. Secondly, I saw a tweet by Robert Alai saying that Trail of Dinga's running mate then should come from central Kenya and most importantly, let him go for Mata Karua so that he can actually pick this undecided number of voters. So in the event that William Ruto picks Musala as a running mate, do you think that Raila Odinga stands a chance? Let me go, just go there before Nimalize. What Uhuru is going to do is that Uhuru is now going to hit. It's very easy to hit Mudavadi when he goes to central and these other parts of the country. Now to hit Mudavadi, instead of slamming deputy president, he's going to slam Davadi for now 
uh, discrediting his government. The moment he does that, actually, the central Kenya, there is a percentage that will see that William Ruto is dining with the President Uhuru Kenyatta's enemy. Guys, what do you think about this political matrix? Do you think the running mate position is going to be the head, the break or make for ANC-UDA coalition? Thank you.